guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about the security guard. Now, I'm hoping that this video will be much longer than the last one. If not, then this will be going up before the other one goes up. Because here is the deal. Here is the deal. We have to talk about this today and today we're going to talk about the end of the encounters with security assistance at school so with all further ado we're going to talk about it today and we will have a big answer a big big story for you today right after this well so you're probably wondering who is the security guard? So I have, or security assistant, so I've been having issues with, uh, over the years of throughout high school and a little bit of middle school, I've had encounters with security. Um, because security assistants, they're not actually like, you know, armed. They just have a walkie talkie and they just patrol the school. The thing about security is some of them are a little bit you know, a little bit more pushy than the others are. So here's what happened. Um, um, here's what happened. Um, is Salad Monkey. So here's what happened. Um, this, the first time that happened in middle school was when I was, you know, at lunch with my friend Daniel. And um, all of a sudden, this, you know, this dude, black, because he was old, uh, the security guard named Miss Elliot came over to the table. And I was talking to my friend about, about him going into the portable and with it shaking all crazy. So as this, so as Miss Elliot pulls up, she's, um, all, all she hears is, shaking all crazy and I was like not being all angry and she all of a sudden points the walkie-talkie in my face and starts saying you better not be disrespectful you better not be being mean to my Danny you better not be harassing my Danny being mean to my Danny me 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 and 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 you know you, you're gonna face away right now face away right now and I'm like who the heck you even are? Who do you think heck you even think you are? To come up to me and tell me to face away when I'm talking to my friend right here. And she just starts going off on me. So then what happened was is um is the kid in front of me says Dang, this thing got in trouble. I'm like, you dang all right I got in trouble. You dang all right I got in trouble. And I'm wondering, what did I do? Seriously, guys, what did I do? Nothing. I did absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever. All I was doing was minding my own business, talking to my friend, and all of a sudden, a security assistant comes up and starts yelling at me for no reason. So how do you think I should respond to this? So later that day, I went back home, I told my mom, and there was a guy, who, who, and the guy got involved, and you know, he was like, and uh, you know, and I told my mom about what happened, and she was like, I'm pissed. Who does this lady think she's doing? And then I told, and then I told him, and, I, 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 and then the guy said, well, what did you say? And I said, oh, I said that, you know, and saying I was saying something inappropriate, because the lady said it, because Miss, Miss Elliot said I was saying something inappropriate, and I wasn't saying anything inappropriate. I was talking to my friend. All, all she heard was shaking all crazy. And um, Daniel, Daniel just is so, you know, brushed us, Daniel just brushed stuff under the rug and you know doesn't actually you know really know what the real context was you know so anyway so what happened was is with daniel is is i is, is, is i told the guy and the guy's like 
Well, it is inappropriate. And then my mom's like, no, that's not really inappropriate. That is inappropriate. That is inappropriate. I'm like, just, 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 okay? Just help me out here. So then what happened was, is after that, um, my mom calls the seventh grade assistant principal. And the assistant principal contacted this security assistant, and of course I talked to the assistant principal myself. What happened was, is the security assistant came down and um, had um, had uh, apologized to me, saying that she thought that Daniel was bothering me. And that's not what happened. She was yelling at me, not at Daniel. Okay, if she was saying, oh, we just face away. She just, you know, and, you know, she's your typical black woman who, you know, they really grip up drama pretty well. They grip up drama pretty well. I mean, they, they'll rip you, you know. They ain't, you know, they'll take, I know, if, I know from experience, black men will grip a hold of that drama and will shut it down as quickly as it started. Trust me, I know. So then what happened was, is, um, is, um, is, um, you know, she, you know, she, you know, she apologized to me and she was shaking because she was, you know, trying to lie. So I basically, you know, went on, and so I'm like, you know what? You're fine. And she ended up not being that in again. So that comes to, so here, so let's talk about what did that security, what did Miss Elliot do wrong? Well, here is what Miss Elliot did. Miss Elliot went in guns blazing, okay? The thing is, you know, I didn't know that there was a problem. I was just talking to my friend. Next thing you know, she just goes off on me. And yeah, I could have spoken up for myself, but this lady, you know, like I said, she would have shut down as quickly as it started. You know, and I'm not gonna argue with some security assistant, but you know, now if she go now if she got me in trouble, then that would be a you know, then then that then that would be um, be a different situation. But all she did was just yell at me, tell me to face away and point the walkie talkie in my face. And I was and I was literally not even doing anything wrong. And unfortunately, that's what happens nowadays, apparently. So then what happened was, is, you know, and, you know, she didn't really, you know, see what the problem was. She didn't ask Daniel what, what, what was the problem or what's going on or anything like that. She just points a walkie-talkie in my face. But she said that she was talking about Daniel bothering me. He wasn't bothering me. I was clearly having a conversation. clearly having a conversation and she said my Danny you better not be saying anything inappropriate to my Danny and that's what I recall she said you better not be saying anything inappropriate to my Danny you better not be saying anything inappropriate to my Danny and said and told me to face away that is what she said, word for word. You better not be saying anything to my Danny. So she was saying something to me, and then, and then saying to face away. And then she was pointing the walkie-talkie in my face. And I didn't do nothing wrong. But she lied. But she probably is going to retire anyway. She was like already in her like late 50s, maybe 60s. She was old. So she's probably going to retire eventually. So it's no point in getting her terminated. Now, there was a security assistant from my middle school that I went to that did get fired. And I, and I think it was maybe like a year ago or two years ago, I saw him walking past me in a store. And I saw him walking past me in a store. I'm like, I know that guy. 
That guy was the security system. He got fired. Yeah. Pretty crazy, right? So, always remember, know the situation before you get in it. Because if you go and you start arguing with somebody, you start yelling at somebody when they're not even doing anything wrong, you know, that's, that's a sign, hey, you know, wake up. How would you like it if you were at if you were at lunch and if you were at lunch and some security assistant came up and you and started yelling at you for no reason when you were talking to your friend? That seems a little bit, you know, a little bit a little bit stupid if you ask me. Anyway, so then we're gonna go on my second story. So there was another security guard in my high school that I had encounters with. I had a couple encounters with a couple security guards, but we're gonna go and start off with this one lady. So this one lady, she was just like Miss Elliot, but her name was, but her name was, you know, kind of an old, kind of an old name, an old last name, a name that, you know, you don't really hear. An older name, like a store that's really old and it's all, the sign's all old and everything and the building's all old. Yeah, that's kind of what the name was. And it was named after, and the name is after a store that's in my hometown that, that, I, that I came from. And Andrew knows what I'm talking about. Maybe he knows what I'm talking about. Anyway, so then here is what happened. Here is what happened that security guard or, or security assistant. So, this, so here is the thing. Here's the thing. So I was in earth science. I was in my science class and the teacher had us go outside in the hallway to do work. And we had these chair, we, there was like this table couch thing that we had, that we had, that, 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 that my school had. And it was like a, you know, kind of like a table kind of couch thing. You know, like a teacher can set up like a board or something up there. Yeah. So then what happened was, is, um, is a security assistant starts, you know, going through everybody, and she's behind, and the security assistant's way behind me, saying stuff, and saying like, "Young man, you better be doing," to a dude on his name, "Young man, you better be doing your what?" And then I was like, "It's a calculator." See, it's a calculator. And then, then, then he didn't say anything. And then. And then she's like, saying, what are you going to get for it? So I put up my paper, and you're like, all right. I'm like, yeah, all right. You're just going to go, you know, you know, doing a, do, doing a hall inspection or something? Because, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I mean, unless anybody's doing anything wrong, you don't need to go and ask them what they're doing. Unless you're going to but, 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 and be rude about it. So then there was another security guard. This one I've had quite a few encounters with. So let's go talk about it. But before then, but before I get into that, um, one time I was walking home, not walking home, I, I was walking to the nurse, and um, I was walking from the nurse to go back to class, and how they did this is they had these little stations up for, they had these stations up for the, um, f that security would not let anyone pass this 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 line like this area because when you go back in the learn comms before they did one lunch these you know this you know they would go and walk past these security guards and you know and go back to class or you know sit outside in the hall and they didn't want to do that they want to keep everybody um, they wanted to keep everybody from going that way and um, they kept everybody from going they kept everybody from going um, they kept everybody from going back to class so one time I need to go back to nurse and like yeah we you for it and I just hold a piece of paper <laughs> with a note with the hallway pass so yeah that was, uh, that, that was one of the few things that happened.
my God, don't make it started about the nurse. I know, I know the nurse is not a security guard, but oh my God. My high school nurse was not very nice. She's not very nice. Usually nurses are supposed to be, you know, friendly and, you know, you know, and they're supposed to be helpful. But otherwise, a nurse just sounds like a, like a, like a mean, mean, mean mom that would basically try to sling out the bull crap. Let me tell you something. Because that nurse that was in my high school was mean. She was mean. No question about it. I had to go up there because I got hit in the head, in the back of my head with a ball, and I thought I had some sort of injury. So she went to go and inspect it, and she was like, yeah, and like, speak up! Yeah. And then, then you know, she's just being very, very abrupt, very, very abrupt and direct and straightforward, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, you know, as a nurse, you know, nurses are usually, you know, you all know what someone has been through. Rather than being a total mean woman and, um, and, you know, and, you know, being a mom, being one of those moms that, you know, that's like very moody and very grumpy, than being a nurse that's supposed to be helpful. Yeah, that's just, that's just kind of, you know, a little bit, a little bit extreme, you know, you know, I don't know. But yeah, that was quite the experience. For those who know what I'm talking about, you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, let's move on to the security guard. Security assistant. All right, so I've had quite the encounters with this security guard or security assistant. All right. Um, you know, the security assistant, he's like, you know, he, you know, he was Asian. And, uh, you know, he was, you know, he, he was average height and size for... A security assistant. He wasn't like, you know, like, you know, giant, but he was, you know, around, around like maybe 5'10-ish. And this security guard, you know, he was, he, he's very popularly known and, you know, he's, he's just a security guard. So here is where I have this again with this, with this security guard. When I've had quite the encounters with this security guard, um, no doubt I've had a lot of encounters with the security guard. Okay, let's get into the story. This security guard, you know, he's doing his job. He's, you know, enforcing the rules like what a police officer would do. But, you know, they kind of, you know, they're the ones that, you know, get their hands on kind of, kind of extraction, you know. No, the, well, while the principals, on the other hand, may be a little bit more straightforward, these guys are also straightforward, but anyway. So here's what happened. We were, uh, well, one time I was with my friend, you know, Joel. If you know who Joel Smith is. And then Kyle Boardman. And, um, and, you know, we were at the, you know, we were at our table and they left a bunch of trash there. And I wasn't quite finished eating yet. So I'm like, what am I gonna do? Well then the security guy, well that security guard, security assistant comes over and says, oh, well, who misses it? Who, who misses this? And I told him, oh, oh, well they went that way. You know, one of them, you know, they went that direction. So he's like, oh, well, you have to clean up the mess. I'm like, no, I'm not cleaning up the mess. So I get my stuff, and I head down, and I leave the cafeteria. Yeah. Then, there was another moment. Then, the security, uh, the security guard, or assistant, whatever he is, um, you know, I've I've seen him a lot when he's in the hallway and talking to people. I mean, I'm, I mean, he's friendly. But I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, he'll take care of a situation if he really does have to. I mean, you know, you know, they're not, you know, security guards aren't going to, you know, sing you a lullaby to go to sleep. You know, they're going to, 
get the business done, and they're going to enforce the rules, what a security guard does. So, so there was a time where he apparently um, passed. Um, you know, there, and there was a time where he also got me again um, because one time, and this was in my junior year, two, almost two times in a row, the same week or the same three weeks, um, the security guard, the security guy comes up and um, here's what happened, okay? There was the spider that was crawling down from the ceiling onto the table, right? And I thought it was pretty poisonous by it. So I was trying to bang on it with my, um, I was trying to bang on it with my, um, what was it? it? With my metal water bottle and that wasn't doing it. So then my friend threw the applesauce and I slammed my hand and I banged on the table with the applesauce and I broke the container of the applesauce, and the applesauce exploded everywhere all over the table. Now, of course, it's a now of course it's a pretty pretty easy mess to clean up. You know, just take a couple napkins, take the paper towels, and it should be that simple, right? Well, all of a sudden, there comes that Asian security guy, comes up, puts his hand on his hips, and I'm like, uh, what? And, you know, and I start to go get some napkins to go clean up. So he, you know, so I get the paper towel, you know, he gives me paper towel. I clean up the mess and then, and then, um, and then he takes a washcloth and cleans the table. And I have to say, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't know that that was going to happen. I did kind of feel a little bit, you know. A little bit ashamed of myself. Well, not really ashamed. You know, we all make mistakes. It happens. We all make mistakes. The thing is, is what happened was, is what happened was that security guard is, you know, he had to go and because for a second there, I thought I was going to get in trouble, and he said, Zach, Zach, don't do that again. And um, yeah, so that's what happened. And then, and, 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 and then one sit next to him's like, you broke my applesauce. I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. Zach threw it over there. I mean, you, but the one, but yeah, don't ever bang on a table and try to kill an insect with a, with applesauce because you're going to break the, with a plastic thing of applesauce because you're going to break the container. And that's what happened to me. <laughs> but hey. You know, I did, I did save the day, so the applesauce sacrificed itself, and the security guard had to come over and um, be the EMS, I guess you can say. Um, but yeah, and then here is where that security guard turned nasty. And here's where I kind of am, am starting to freak the heck out, is everybody got these, like, there were like these classes or so that got these balloons, right? And my friend Zach wanted me to hold a balloon. Well, there was a girl who had a, who had a purple balloon on the other side of the cafeteria, and what happened was she popped it, and and and, and, and like it, went, and then what happened was it it scares the crap out of me. Um, it scares the crap out of me. So that what happened was is is I drop the balloon and it flies on a chair, and it, and then someone's like, "Damn it, Tristan!" I'm like. It wasn't me. So, so, so then what happened was is after that, um, so then what happened was after that, I had, um, I had, um, you know, I, I was holding it up in my hand like this, you know, where he can see it because I don't want it to drop or pop or anything like that. I'm going to wait for my friend to get back. All of a sudden, the security guy, the same security guy comes up and says, give me that thing. And I give it to him, and he takes it, and I don't know if he popped it or threw it away. Well, if you're going to take my friend's balloon, you're going to take everyone's balloon. You know, I mean, that's not fair. And I mean, just because, I, I mean, I think that because that happened was because I was holding up the balloon, because I was holding up the balloon, and, 
you know, he thought that it was me who popped it. And then I'm looking around, like, I'm looking around seeing if one of the assistant principals comes because one of the assistant principals usually hangs out in the cafeteria. If you guys don't remember, he was in the graduation video. Um, in the graduation video, but um, because he's usually one that usually, you know, gets people and takes them in his office and disciplines them for whatever they did, what an AP does. And so then I'm thinking, oh no, I'm gonna get in trouble. So then what happened was I didn't get in trouble. Nothing like that happened, and you know, you know, there was nothing I could do to prevent it. But I mean, yeah. That was pretty crazy. And then after that, senior year, I don't believe I had any problems. Oh yeah, I did have one thing happen. As I am losing light, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this right here, right now. So what happened with, um, what happened with the, the, you know, the problem with, you know, me and Dion and, and Ethan and, and Thomas and what was his name? Michael. Um, we were all in, it, we were all coming back from lunch sophomore year. I forgot to tell the story. And what happened was, is we were, you know, coming back from the, from lunch and, you know, Dion and Dion and a couple other people went up to the, met, was gonna wait for us. And I was in the bathroom washing my hands and and Michael and Thomas were in the bathroom on phones talking and stuff. So then what happened was is right after that a security guard comes in, grabs Thomas, grabs Michael, and set, takes him up to the office. And then what happened was is after that, you know, I'm like, whoa, that was a close call because had I been in there and he grabbed on my arm, ooh, it would have not been good. And this was not the same security guard I talked about in the last clips. This was a different security guard and a security assistant, whatever. And, you know, that would have not been good if he grabbed on me. But anyway, so then what happened was, is after that, um, is, um, is, what happened was after that is, you know, you know, Ethan was like, oh my God, they just took them. And then I'm like, and I was so lucky because he could have got me, told Ethan and them just to go to class, but. You know, I, I was pretty fortunate that I didn't get, I didn't get, get grabbed. I mean, that, you know, that kind of made pretty bad. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to watch this video. Anyway, move on to the next clip, or we're going to do the outro. I don't know if this really does count as something, but um, here's what happened. One time, I was, one time, Um, one time I was, you know, taking care of, what was I doing? One time I was walking in the hallway one morning and all of a sudden the security guy throws up his hands at me. <laughs> I don't know if it was at me or what, but I was like, what did I do? I was just walking in the hallway and he wanted to go into that one room and, you know, apparently I, I, I had to right away. <laughs> And uh, he just throws his hands up at me. So I'm just like, what the heck was that all about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just wondering, what the heck was that about? I mean, you know, do you have something against, against, yeah. I don't know what his problem was. But I mean that. But I mean that was kind of weird and funny at the same time. So then after that, you know, we really didn't have any issues except you know, little things that happened. But anyway, so anyway, hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. Make sure you like, here, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in another video. And that's what Robert says. Poke, poke. Yeah.